be cute with it. So your girl just got out of class and I'm on my way to um my 31st week appointment. I am running late because they moved my appointment up to 11 15 and I get out of class at 11 so I'm like trying to speed my way over there. Um I got like a good eight minutes to get there but i'm noticing that there's some traffic in the way that i had to go so who knows maybe we'll get there on time maybe we won't but um besides that i'm trying to like drive and talk to you guys at the same time and it's kind of hard besides that well it's only hard because i have to hurry up and get in this lane but besides that everything else is pretty cool i'm hoping like fingers crossed that they tell me that I've gained some weight because I've been eating a lot more or at least I've been trying to eat a lot more I don't know if that's working so I'm hoping I've gained a couple pounds I've been eating like three times a day trying not to skip any meals and um yeah so I'm gonna see you when we get there all right update your girl ain't gained no weight <laughs> but I mean I didn't lose weight either and usually when I come here I always like lose weight like I'm always less than I was before. So I'm happy that my weight stayed the same. I'm 147.1 pounds, uh, which is actually really interesting because before I got pregnant, I was more like 150, 152 area. And that was just like my regular weight. And now I'm seven months pregnant, 30 weeks, almost 32 weeks. I'll be 32 weeks in a couple days. And I'm on 47. <laughs> what I mean, I won't hit. It'd be kind of boring. Today is actually going pretty fast. I got here. My appointment was at 11.15. I got here at 11.16. I got sent to the back for my urine sample at 11.18. And I'm just sitting back. So I've decided that I'm going to give you a tour of the room. All right, let's go. So over here, you have your entrance. That's how you get into this room. There's some magazines to watch while you wait, some gloves. That's where they put the shops and stuff. This is the sink area. Um, they use this um, when you're doing a pap smear. I think these cotton balls, whatever, whatever. I think that's called a tongue depressor. I don't know what any of this is. That's some of the their business cards. These are some books. But I ain't got no baby yet, so I ain't reading no books to nobody. Um, this is like... You know cute little setup this is usually what they put um whenever have like some kind of exam or something they'll put all the stuff that they need on this um this thing here it just be telling people facts so when i'm sitting here i'm supposed to read whatever's on the screen but usually i don't because i just sit down and do nothing this i forgot what that is i forgot what that is that's just some more pictures this is my chair that's my bag and then this is another thing that i'm just supposed to learn while i wait but i usually don't listen to that either yeah and then this is where they take my blood pressure with and obviously my tongue temperature and then here we are back to the start of the room Alright, so that is the end of that. I am now back in the car. My appointment is over. We didn't do much. My next ultrasound is going to be at 35 weeks, so around April 1st ish. Uh, but my next actual appointment is on the 11th of March, so like in two weeks ish. Um, yeah, I ended up just like 
I stopped recording because I had to go over a few things with my midwife and then I had to set up my next appointment and stuff like that. And y'all really know, y'all need to know my business like that. So I just finished my appointment. But I'm about to go home. I'm actually kind of hungry. I feel like I want to eat pizza and wings. So I'll probably try to do that. And I'll see you guys in the next couple of days. Two weeks later. All right, so if you haven't read by the title, we are going to be taking a look at my travel system. Um... I recently posted or like I shared this post about like pushing my stroller all of this hot girl summer because it was expensive and ever since then people have just been asking me like what kind of stroller I have if I like it and how did I choose it so without further ado let's get into this video before we get started I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys the boxes of what I got both pieces of my travel system are a part of the upper baby collection um, I got the cruise stroller and the Mesa car seat. Both items are in fact in the color scheme of Jake, which was a complete coincidence. Um, it's just what I chose. I originally wanted Gregory, but Gregory was out of stock when I went to purchase them. So I ended up getting Jake. Now, I do wanna say that yes, I spent like a ban on these items. So, um, I mean, <laughs> I was just exaggerating in the title, but it came out to roughly maybe a little over $1,000. I do want to say that I did get help from Carter's godfather, so I didn't I didn't spend a band of my own money <laughs> on this. I mean, not saying that I wouldn't have because I do want what's best for my child, and the uh, baby was that for me. So that's what I wanted to do. So shout out to Carter's Pine for participating in my bougie buying. <laughs> And we'll just go ahead and open up his car seat and his stroller now. First, I'm going to open up his car seat. I'm pretty sure these things are not put together yet. I know they have to be set up. Um, a little, the cruise is a single car seat. I know it, well, the difference between the cruise and the Vista is the cruise can be used for two kids and no, the Vista can be used for two children and the cruise for one. I don't intend on having any more kids after Carter, so I like I didn't I knew that I didn't need the Vista and the Vista was a bit more expensive. Um I got the cruise because it was first. Um I just I was looking for something that like was chemical free and flame resistant. And the other baby is that. I looked around and I found a couple websites that told me that like the upper baby was a good brand for babies right now and i know a few people like my parents their kids have upper baby strollers only one of them had an upper baby car seat and he's now in the nuna baby car seat which um they are compatible with each other so it's i mean the brands are interchangeable i do just like the look and the feel of the upper baby it's really light when I went and picked it up from the office this morning, um, I didn't have the, well, obviously it, it was heavy, but it wasn't that heavy to the, to the point where I needed somebody to, to pick it up for me or anything like that. So, um, I mean, I can't really say if I like the use of it because clearly I've never used it before since y'all watching me take it out of the box, but, um, as far as the look of it, I think it is perfect and it's so cute. I do like that it's lightweight because um, I'm probably going to be the one pushing him in the car seat for the most part. I don't, I mean, in the stroller for the most part, being that um, y'all already know so. <laughs> Yeah, I just prefer that he be in this. So it's very lightweight, as you can see. It's not hard to carry. Taking it out of the bag. It is very nice. I do like, okay, so this also has like leather insole inserts for like the handlebars and stuff. Which I don't know if I'm going to get because I do like the look of the car seat by itself. 
but it there's like a, a, a bunch of other accessories sold separately that I know I want to buy like I want to buy the rain shield I want to buy the cabana tarp and I want to buy like the protection case or whatever which I know what you're thinking unnecessary purchases but if I want it it's necessary Alright, so it's probably going to take me a minute to put this together, so I'm going to put this together real quick, and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so this is what the stroller looks like after it's been put together. Um, it's very slim, which is perfect for the my trunk. I typically don't carry anything in my trunk, but it's just nice to know that like it will fit in there if I did have to put anything else in there. And this is just the overall look of it. Um, I do like that it is all black. Um, black and gray are my two favorite colors. And here is a shade that comes down just to give him more of a block from the sun. And it looks like that. Gray is also one of my favorite colors. So it was just perfect for me overall. This is a better view, or like a larger view, of the upper baby. Here's the shade that goes to a significantly good, like, area as far as like keeping the sun out of his face. Um, it does have like an opening here so where I can see him. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. So I can see what he's doing. Um, he will be rear facing, so that's just kind of... Uh, helpful thing for me um I do like that this okay it was down here it extends because you know real niggas like me is like six feet tall and we need that extra extension so we're not breaking our back you feel me no I'm just kidding <laughs> but um Carter's dad and I will be co-parenting so I wanted something that was functional for the both of us and since he is a bit taller than I am um the extending handlebar was just perfect for his use because I do want him to be comfortable because if he's uncomfortable then my baby's uncomfortable and that's not okay with me um as I mentioned earlier in the video that I wanted to buy the rain shield where are you going that I wanted to buy the rain shield and the cabana but um I noticed in the box that they came with them so I probably won't be buying them for the stroller, I know there is one for the car seat. If it's in the box, then, you know, perfect. I can take those off my registry because I won't have to buy them. But if they do not, then I will just leave them on my registry and either receive them as a gift or buy them. But that is a stroller. Um, yeah, so I'll be strolling along all summer. <laughs> All right, so the next thing that I will be unboxing is his car seat, which again is a baby. And it is in the color scheme of Jake. Um, in the reviews, it said that this is a lighter car seat. However, I did notice that as I was carrying it in this box, that this thing is really heavy. So I do not know if it as if it is as lightweight as they make it out to be online but i mean we already bought it <laughs> so at this point like there's kind of no turning back y'all see that this is big say hello to the people hi to the people i need to look for something i can't find my khaki pants did i buy those did I buy the khaki pants? Look at them. Did I put them back? The ones that I said I was going to start using for work. From Hanser? Yeah. Yeah, you put them back. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just be spending money. Anyways. Maybe it's because it was in a box, but it's not as heavy as I thought it was going to be. Um, this pretty much is the car seat, which I believe is the same one my cousin Tanya had for Jace. And it's very 
questionable. Again, it has the shade for the seat. I like that here is a hard back all the way up to the top. Just because my baby's head is supposed to be right here and if any impact were to happen, like you can see protected all the way around. Um, I mean, I don't really have to put this car seat together. It's pretty much all this together. So here it is. I don't really know how to take this off. So uh, this is awkward. This way. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's light. Okay, yeah, it's the fact that it was in a box and the base was connected that made it feel a lot heavier than it was. But I do like this, and I feel like it's very cute. There's a blue, which I do prefer. I'm very gender specific, specific when it comes to my kids, so. I do like that it's blue, it matches my nails, you feel me? And that is his drum of his car seat. Alright, so this is just a closer look of, at the car seat and the base. The car seat as well is pretty slim. Again, I was just saying that I like that the hard part comes all the way up to the back. Just because where his head will be, if there were any impacts, he would just be protected all the way around. And I do like the blue accent too. And that is a baby car seat. All right, so that is his car seat and his stroller. And I'm very excited to be using it all summer. <laughs> so I'll see you in the next video.